Hi, I'm Hawken with TopDon, and today we're going to show you how to do updates on your TopDon TP47 or TP48 tire pressure monitoring service tool. Now, this method of updating is only valid after you have registered and updated your tool initially using the PC Suite, which we covered in another video. So after you've registered your tool the first time and updated it the first time, then you can use this method to update your tool. So we're going to walk you through the process today. We've got the tool in front of us here, and you're going to see that we're going to show you all of the steps on how to do this. So we're looking at the screen here. We're going to go down here, pressing the button, and it went to sleep on us, so we'll give it a moment here. So the tool is rebooting. So this is the TP48. We're going to go to the settings menu here. We're going to hit OK. We're going to go down, and the first thing you'll have to do is set up your Wi-Fi. So I've already set up the Wi-Fi on this tool, but basically you go into the Wi-Fi setting here. Wi-Fi is activated. You turn this on to yes. Then you select whichever Wi-Fi network you want to connect to. It will ask you to enter in the password. Once you enter in the password, then you will check and see. Uh, it'll take a little bit of time to connect, but then it will connect to your Wi-Fi. We'll have Wi-Fi status connected will be shown here. Then we can go back one step, and we can go here to the update section. Update will allow us to check for updates on the tool. And it's going to ask us to confirm. And after we do that, it's going to take a little bit of time. Now, this process takes usually 15 to 25 minutes, depending on the speed of the connection and depending on how many updates are available for the tool. So after you set this up, you're going to want to let the tool sit for a while. Make sure your battery is fully charged before you start this update process. And do not disturb the tool once it is started doing the updates. Now, you can plug it into the wall using the USB port on the side and the charging cable that comes with it. However, as long as your battery is fully charged, you should be okay during the update process uh, without plugging it in. However, obviously, it's always a good idea to plug it into the wall. Do not plug it into a computer if you're going to use the Wi-Fi updating process. Only plug the USB cable into a computer if you're going to use the PC suite for the update. So, this is the basics of updating the tool if you are using Wi-Fi to update the tool. And again, we can only do this update after we've initially registered the tool using the PC suite. If you have questions about this process or you have any kind of concerns, feel free to reach out and contact us and we will be happy to answer them for you. Again, I'm Hawken with TopDon and thank you for watching this video.